Welcome back and thanks for being with us in Action 10 News. First at 4, I'm Drew Spire. A woman says she bought a house with different addresses and she told the troubleshooters she has been living in it without power or water. Well, today our Andy Liscano tells us what he found when he went looking for why and how this happened. Maria Ortega asked the troubleshooters for help with her house the one with addresses of 412 Coke and 1821B La Pan. She bought it in 2018 from Markman Brothers for $53,500. She admits she stopped making her monthly payments because of the issue over the addresses. I stopped giving them payments. I wasn't gonna give them payment on something that they couldn't locate. She says it's why she hasn't been able to get city services. So the troubleshooters went to work, digging to discover what happened and how we could help her. I spoke with Fred Hobbs, a managing member with Markman Brothers earlier today. He tells me that yes, this property was deeded to Miss Ortega as an investment property, and she promised not to live in it. He also says that Markman Brothers financed the loan, $53,500 for Ortega. Mr. Hobbs says that address has been on city records for many years. According to your records, this address is actually 1823 Lapone? Yes. Nueces County Appraisal District Chief Appraiser Ronnie Canales says after we contacted him about our story, he personally visited the property and city records show 1823 Lapan includes Ortega's house, the main blue house, plus another lot, three properties on one lot. It's, it's very sad, but again, uh, people can be taken advantage of people. And in this case, I think this is part of what's been happening uh, to her and other people, perhaps. I don't know. Now, Canales says they'll go back five years to calculate back taxes on this specific property, and Markman Brothers will be responsible for paying them. This is a list of all the properties in Nueces County owned by Markman Brothers. There is not a 412 Coke, but there is an 1823 La Pan. Hobbs insists Ortega knew exactly what she was getting into when she signed to buy this place. Andy Lascano, Action 10 News. Now we also reached out to the city attorney's office. They responded saying records show that utility services at 412 Coke were turned off in April of 2019 for unauthorized use. That account is no longer active since no one has called to reestablish services. The city further adds that 1821 La Pond does not exist in their records. As always, whenever you need help from the troubleshooters, send us an email at troubleshooters at kzdtv10.com.